Hello guys, welcome to chemistry class with Flash Isaac. Today, I'll be taking you through the difference between polymorphism and allotropy. Polymorphism is the existence of different forms of substance in the same physical state. For example, uh, a silica can exist in three states under the same physical form. So you can see uh, silica in form of quartz tridamides and uh, crystallites in this form. That process is referred to as polymorphism. But it is not allotropy. Allotropy is when elements elements exist in different form in the same physical state. It is referred to as what? Allotropy. In that case, Polymorphism is the umbrella, is the general term for substances that exist in different form under the same physical uh, state. Meanwhile, allotropy is exists only in elements. So if an element exists in different forms under the same physical state, it is referred to as allotropy. For example, uh, silica is not a uh, silica does not exhibit allotropy because although it exists in different forms. Under the same physical state, it is not an element. So, since it is not an element, it is not allotropy, it is polymorphism. Under the same physical state, carbon can exist as diamond and as graphite. So, carbon is an element which exists in different forms under the same physical state. So, therefore, it is an, the process is allotropy. So, allotropy of carbon are diamond and graphite. White phosphorus can exist as white phosphorus and red phosphorus. If you heat this rhombic sulfur, you get monoclinic at 96 degrees Celsius. That is the transition temperature. So we refer to this allotropy as enantiotropy. When you heat uh, white, you, form, you see gray tin under 13.2 degrees Celsius. So this guys require transition temperature to exist in that state, while this one doesn't require transition temperature. In summary, polymorphism is the existence of substance in different forms under the same physical state. While allotropy is the existence of elements, so it's restricted to only elements. While polymorphism is the general umbrella. So that is it on the differences between polymorphism and allotropy. Thanks for watching and don't fail to subscribe to this channel for more amazing videos.